In Kentucky, it's Derby Day, with 60,000 milling fans eager to see the 64th running of America's greatest horse race. Postmaster General Farley is among hundreds of notables on hand. Young Elliot Roosevelt and his wife are here all the way from Texas, while Broadway sends Big Jack Dempsey and his pretty little missus. And now, the big moment is at hand. The aristocracy of three-year-olds, minus stagehand, goes to the post. There's a thrilling second, and they're off. It's a clean break, with Fighting Fox, Bully, and Mountain Ridge jockeying for a spot. Me now, way on the outside, charges across the field just like the famous War Admiral. Now it's William Woodward's favorite, Fox, next to the rail. Me now's coming strong. Now he's alongside, with Mountain Ridge pounding at their heels as they pass the stands on the first lap of the mile and a quarter route. In the back stretch, it's another story. Hal Headley's Meenow is sailing away from Fighting Fox. Myron Selznick's Camp Waits a close third, and Mountain Ridge is fourth in the pack. <laughs> Rounding the turn into the home beat, it's still Meenow. Fighting Fox has dropped to fourth, and now Lauren with Eddie R. Carroll up makes his bid. From fifth place, Eddie pushes Lauren right out in front, and they call this horse a sprinter. Close on Lauren's heels and coming fast is Dauber. But his bid's too late. This $50,000 pot is in the bag. Lauren's by a length. Another great derby goes on the books. 22-year-old Arkello and his gallant mount have won their place in the charmed circle of Kentucky's Bluegrass Hall of Fame.